songwriters, YouTubers, people new, people old to this channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Anyway, you deer hunters, kill the buck, kill the doe, whatever. Don't know what to do with them deer tails. Cure them, and I'm going to show you right now one of the easiest, deadliest bucktail flies that you can tie. And it starts right now. We start out by using a size 12 hook, streamer hook, which would be about a 3x long, size 12 hook, and then we add our lead. The, how much lead you add is totally up to you. You could add a lot of lead if you want to sink. If you don't want to sink so fat, you know, so much, you know, just add a thinner lead. But we're going to add lots of lead to this because we'll be fishing as deep and fast water. We are going to tie on white thread. Now we're going to try and cover all that lead wire up with thread and uh, add some head cement to that to seal that wire off. So you don't have like a green or something coming through your flyer later. Okay, that's about the hardest part of this fly. Pretty easy fly and very deadly. So make sure you let that dry fully before you go on with any more steps. Now, you want to run your thread all the way to the back of the hook. Get ready to tie in a little bit of red ice stubbing. And I rolled it up into a little ball or noodle and then tie it in. And that'll have a little red sticking out. Here in Pennsylvania, the most favorite mini to fish by many fishermen is called a red fin. And they'll, they'll throw every other kind of mini back just to get that red fin. And so we add a little red to this make it look like that red fin in the tail section. Now we're going to tie in this quarter inch, about a quarter inch wide uh, flash tinsel. It's like see-through, but it gives like, like flash dub, dubbing does. It has, gives different colors off. And I do this for use the clear instead of the silver which a lot of people use on bucktails or gold and wrap it around uh, that way I could paint the underbody of red I could paint the underbody of blue or green or all kinds of underbodies and sometimes that makes a difference on the just changing that body color makes a difference on the fish reacting or not reacting
Now you're going to wrap this, that tinsel, all the way around. Cover up all that uh, lead and, and thread and fingernail polish you put on there. And by changing that, see, you can use, I use the white fingernail polish. By changing that underbody by using a red fingernail polish, a black fingernail polish, and then still wrapping this tinsel over, it'll still give it the flashy, but it'll change the body color. And like I said before, that sometimes makes a difference between the fish reacting to it or not. All right, now here comes the deer tail. You want to take the white part, whether you want to turn the fly upside down in your vise, makes it a little bit easier, or rotate your vise so that you tie it on up the bottom of the fly first. And then you're going to take white of the bucktail, and this is going to be your belly, and you're going to tie that on underneath to represent the belly of the fish. Okay, now you want to cut that off as close as you can to the eye of the hook. You know, want to punch up that eye of the hook so you can still tie this on. And you want to turn your, cinch it down real well with some thread wraps. And then turn the fly back up the right way in the vise. Or rotate your vise and get ready to tie in the brown part of the bucktail. Which is the top of the fish. Um, as you can see, <coughs> I don't use a deer hair stacker, and I run my deer hair on my bucktails a pretty good ways past the bend of the hook. Um, there's a reason why I don't use a deer hair stacker, because a, a minnow in the water isn't a triangle. Um, they get mid thicker in the middle and thinner at the tail, and by not using a deer hair stacker, the ends of the deer hair are being off. A little bit makes it look like more I think more like a mini um, and um, some people put uh, put black in between the brown and the white make it look like the stripe of mini you can do that too I just try to keep them really simple um, they're deadly this way and I just keep them simple Now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap that, the head of that, this fly, many, many times with a big white head. Make sure all your hair ain't going to slip out later. And you can head cement this or paint it white or use white fingernail polish and make the head white um, if you want to. Or just clip it, you know, use clear or whatever, or just head cement. Now you can, uh, we're going to whip finish this fly now and finish it, or before you do that, you could also add a little bit of red both sides of the fly to represent the little teeny front fins of a red, uh, a red fin mini, or you can just leave it like this. I think at the end I'll have a, a little bit of a video of one tied with the red on the side.
Okay, now I will paint the the head of the fly with white fingernail polish, and then while that dries, I'll take a, a spare hook that I have laying on the bench and stick that through the eye of the hook so that the eye of the hook doesn't get all closed up. And then once that's fully dry, I'll take a piece or a little bit of black fingernail polish and stick it on each side to represent the eye. And this makes it look a little cooler, a little more like a fish. And that's it. you like that tying video like I said they're easy they're right here they're deadly deadly little things and uh, they're great for like brookies or browns or oh if you tie them in a size 14 they're really good for brookies um I'd like to always have these in my box and I forgot all about them. I was looking through in my box and I was like you know I don't have any deer tail flies and since it's hunting season this gives you a good thing to do with your uh, tails if you uh, cure them with salt or whatever, however you do it. And um, they're a deadly fly. So use your bucktails, save your bucktails, tie these flies. You shoot the deer, you tie the fly, and you catch a fish. That's pretty neat. If you could sh kill the animal, use the skin, tie a fly, and catch a fish on it, it is awesome. So uh, thank you for watching our videos. I know it's been a while since we make them. Um, I've got it a little burned out on videos and uh, plus I've been working a 40 hour week usually at this time of the year I'm off all the way up till uh, March, but uh, I had to change works work So we won't have any winter off so won't be as many f f videos produced, but uh, When we do go out uh, Next year for fishing we will be uh, all kinds of locations um, to go all over Pennsylvania and fish so Fishing videos will be better, and we can afford better lenses and better stuff. Um, working that 40 hour, we can not have it off in the winter. So it'll bring you better videos. So, thank you for watching. Make sure you check out all the other tying videos and fishing videos, and make sure you subscribe on my little picture of me down there. And uh, keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip, and be creative. Create your own these to fly design today. You have a good day.